Hi, this is Delta from the 501st Tribals Clan, uh, here to give you a short but pretty sweet way on how to gain uh, gun barrels and springs easily and fast. The first thing you're, that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find yourself a tool, whether that's some sort of hatchet. Uh, a stone spear is usually really good if you're early or if you're late into the game, you can use an iron spear. After this, you're going to go from here to find server. After from find server, you're going to go to this players. You're going to click on this once and then twice, and that will give you a drop down of all the servers. What this does is it filters the servers from how many players they have on them. And if you want a safe and easy way to grind scrap, just do this. Open up the menu, find a server. I'm from North America, so I'll choose a North American server like this one. Click on the transfer button. Make sure that I've got my tool, maybe some food, uh, a bow, gun, whatever you want to bring, and transfer to the server, and that will transfer the loot over. Once the loot is transferred, you're going to be able to connect to it, and then I'm going to show you guys the route that you're going to take on the map. Alright, once you find yourself that server, and you have now loaded into that server, you are ready to go. Uh, right now, I will be putting up a map on screen of every single uh, barrel spawn on the map, courtesy of my teammate. Uh, and so what I'm going to do, I'm starting right here in this E5, D5 area. I'm going to loop from here, down, around the map, up through here, come here, loot all these barrels, come down through this island, loot all these barrels, and then wrap around. What's great about this is that you're hitting all the major barrel spawns. That and it takes enough, it's enough time for the barrels that you hit at the start to have respawned. So you can just keep doing the circuit. So I'm gonna start to hit them. And I'll just do one circuit for you guys to show you the route that I take. Uh, another few tips are uh, some items that are good to keep and other ones that aren't as important um, so the drums and the drums and paintbrushes that aren't as important for you to keep I would recommend dropping uh, because they take up inventory space and if you're new on the server you might need a lot of loot to get your first base down and you just keep going here uh, leather is not as useful as most resources uh, but if you are looking to make a tribe and make a banner for that tribe uh, which I'll probably be making a separate video on uh, you're gonna need leather to do that. Leaf and rope are always great for making beds, um, torches, beds, torches uh, uh, for the leaf and um, for the rope, it's used in making spears and uh, plenty of building supplies and other things. Yeah, just going along here at the shipwrecks, that's usually a good indicator um, of barrel spawns. And if you see the little docks, like the one we just hit earlier, that's also another good indication of uh, barrel spawns. Of course, if you see any chickens, make sure to get them, because cooked chicken is the best food source in the game, as well as the feathers will allow you to craft arrows, which you can use on your bow. Another barrel right here. Make sure, you know, you don't have to go for every little thing, but make sure to grab leaves and um, watermelons are a great food source because they give you both a decent amount of food and a good amount of water. Always want to have your stacks um, of food water topped up. Along here, like I said, on this dock we've got a barrel. And then by the shipwreck we got two more. here to the entrance of this cave as it has another barrel spawn. Uh, 
I have fish, so I don't need them, but mushrooms are a really great food source, as it gives you 5 health, or 4 health and 5 hunger. Alright, after this, because there aren't too many feral spawns over in that direction, uh, we're going to keep looping around this way to get a few of the feral spawns that aren't as common. We run through here. Already, you can see, um, just from getting a few barrels, I've got a pretty substantial amount of resources, as well as a ton of rope, which is great for building your first base, as you need a pretty hefty 20 rope to make a toolbox. And I also have plenty of wood, plenty of stone, uh, plenty of leaf, which is great for making beds, as I said earlier, and other things. This side of the rock, there is a barrel. Around the hip not really too useful, so it's really silly. And I'm snuck in the crib, it's an all night. She gon' fold my bro, cause we all like her. Stay with her back just like Roddy Piper. Yeah, I might be a bit, but I probably piped her. Stay in the streets like I'm Peter Parker. Never fell off my feet, I'm just going harder. And I'm high off my feet, I'm like VC Carter. When I got another ship wreck. It's an easy charter. Gave her the number, she's still in cars. Man, you niggas who would have low overall. And that bitch said I'm short, but my money's off. Should I need a bad bitch like Savage Dog? Don't do it because the cabbage call. And she fuck with my D because it's radical. Stay with my dog just like Jim and Goddard. And I stay with a stick just like Harry Potter. I got my bitch and she back to the phone. If you guys ever need water, if you go to these little water catchers, you can also, oh, this one's not built, but if it is built, you can use those water catchers to fill up your uh, water. Like I said before, another great source is watermelon. Uh, usually, there is a barrel spawn here that I grab. There's also another barrel down here, but it doesn't look like the one up by that flag is spawned. there and like I said before you can tell because there's a flag and there normally looks like somebody's been hitting some of the barrels there is uh, a barrel somewhere around here on the shore that you can hit as well as another one oh like you can see right there that somebody has hit already some stone oh Okay, well, moving on. <laughs> There's a couple more barrel spawns. There's one here. And there's one over there. I'm not gonna grab that because I'm worried that the uh, musket guy that just shot at me is gonna chase me. Keep going, and then down by that maple tree over there, there's a barrel. And there's uh, one by this rock and two by the shipwreck. I'm not going to backtrack over to that one now. Nice. Another great way of getting ammunition early on if you don't want to go out and spend all your iron or go out and farm a whole bunch of sulfur and get a whole bunch of charcoal is barrel farming. You can get the musket books, uh, pistol books, the worn musket and pistol books. Uh, you get springs and gun barrels, um, which of course you need to have to craft the uh, guns, and then you also get ammunition for them, so you get the whole package, which is really great. Some more rope and leather, leaf and stone. So you got about 200 wood, uh, 60 leather, 50 leaves. Uh, a pretty substantial amount of rope at uh, just almost 50, which is really great. More wood, more leaves. And then if we cross over to this island, and if we look on the map, oh, uh, down here, F7, E7 area, by that dock, there is uh, actually four more barrel spawns. One by the dock, two by the shipwreck over here, and then one by this big old rock right there. As you can see, because I opened the server list and saw uh, how many players there were, there's only a minimal two amount of players. 
um, online, which just makes it a safer way to farm as you've got less of a chance of running into people and uh, more of a chance of getting out alive. going keep running through this way and then just over there aren't any barrels on here but if we just go down next to this palm tree and this rock there's another barrel here and as you can see we have now came back to where we started uh, e5 and look at that, all the barrels are res have respawned and are ready for you to farm. So I'm just going to get these uh, four and then after that I will uh, wrap up the video. And get you guys a little tally to show you uh, how much I got. And uh, unfortunately, unless we get some from these barrels, I haven't gotten any gun barrels or springs. Uh, but that's probably just because my luck hasn't really been it. Usually this route, each time you go, you'll either get at least uh, one gun barrel or uh, one spring. But if you guys find a server that has a low amount of population, then you guys will be able to do this route over and over again and get, your, uh, get yourselves a lot of loot. So just a final tally of what we got. We got uh, about 80 leaves, 80 leather, we got 55 rope, 250 wood, just shy of uh, two, uh, 200 stone, uh, feather and a raw chicken, which is pretty relevant because we didn't get it from the barrels, and we got some musket ammo. Now, of course, this is just one run, so loot may vary. One time you might get a lot of musket ammo and a lot of pistol ammo. Other times you'll get, uh, you know, maybe a book or some worn books, or maybe you won't get as much leather and you'll get more um, leaves. Uh, it can vary. But this is just one run, and as you can see, it, uh, it took me about, let's see here, uh, 12 minutes, and I got a decent amount of stuff. So thanks for watching. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to um, like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more helpful videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one.